Hi, welcome to Finance Business and Investing. It seems that the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad got some things wrong, and I'm going to explain why, as well as how you can use our investor matrix to turn a few thousand dollars into millions. That should be the target. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is an incredible success, but I believe that the author misleads a lot of people with the way that he discusses his cash flow call. I believe that Rich Dad, Poor Dad has done things incredibly well. Even though he has sold more than 32 million books and has a net worth of more than $100 million, Robert Kiyosaki's advice on this topic is, in our opinion, a little bit dated. In approximately 10 minutes, we are going to explain to you exactly why this is the case. I'm going to go after him today, and I'm going to tell him that he kind of got it wrong. And let me explain why, first of all, this is important, the reason that this is important is because if you get this right, this is how you truly become financially free. If you get this right, this is how you truly become financially free. This is how you will know for sure that you are getting closer and closer to achieving your freedom. People will occasionally ask me, what exactly does it mean to be financially free? Is it something like 20 million in total? My FU fund? I say no. A business owner is not the same as an employee in terms of type, and vice versa. Is it the cash flow, in the sense of how much of it you have or how little you have? Know that it is not a number, and that it does not refer to the type of worker that you are. It depends on where you sit in the investor matrix, which I'm going to refer to now. You need to understand that there are four distinct categories of people in the world. To truly achieve financial freedom and mastery, each and every one of us must become one of them. You have to be aware of your seating arrangement. But it all started with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because in that book the author discusses how one can become wealthy through self-employment verse. Owners and investors come out on top when compared to employees. It is displayed in this section of his cash flow matrix. In a single sentence, this can be summed up by saying that he advises you to shift your focus from employees to investors. Okay. In principle, that makes a lot of sense, but I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something missing. So I asked myself, what is it that he is lacking? To tell you the truth, he's just explaining how the Internal Revenue Service IRS, works. You are given a label, and he reveals your taxation status, which is perhaps the first step toward achieving financial independence. However, this is in no way the conclusion of the chapter. It's just a label, and it won't actually make you any more money, which is the kind of thing that interests us the most. It is necessary for us to give some thought to how we can improve our financial literacy. Which sounds dull, except that it makes you a lot of money because the myth that you can't be a worker and be a billionaire or be massively financially free is a complete and utter fabrication. The truth is that you can be either. Just ask Sheryl Sandberg. Just ask the 54 of the 400 Forbes billionaires who work for their companies rather than owning them. Just ask all of the W-2 employees of large corporations who pay themselves $1 salaries in order to avoid paying taxes on that income. Just look at all of the billionaires who bought out the companies they worked for and got equity in the company. Your status as an employee has nothing to do with the fact that you are healthy. Nothing. Therefore, I, Robert, believe that you are in error. And with that, I present the first version of what I believe to be correct. What are you actually working toward? And it's something I've never named before, but I used to accumulate my wealth through the 124 conversations I've had with people who have 8 and 9 figures in their net worth. What they told me is that they don't care about their tax status, rather, they care about their investor status. If you want to scale the pyramid, I think that this information might be helpful to you. Okay, got it. 
The framework investor matrix can be broken down into the following four categories of people. There is a sliding scale contained within each category, but for the sake of simplicity, let's focus on just four. We've got spenders savers, master allocators, general investors, and calculated investors are general investors. Both the SS and the Gs can be found on the left side of the matrix. Those are the people who spend money, save money, and are general investors in this sector at the moment. These individuals have the least amount of knowledge regarding financial investments. They are the ones who pay the most in town taxes and have the least amount of financial freedom, but each one of them is unique in their own way. Whoever brings in the money, whether it be the spender, the saver, or an ex-spouse, is the one who is really using him. He incurs debt by purchasing assets such as cars, houses, and vacations in addition to things that can be used to fill the automobiles, houses, and trips with savings. After deducting expenses and paying bills, any money that is surplus is put into savings, which is a smart move. However, he is unaware that it is not keeping up with inflation or that it is simply purchasing the next thing, consequently, he feels as though he is a hamster running on a wheel all the time. In addition to this, a vanity is included. Somehow, appearing to be rich has taken precedence over actually being wealthy. It is more important to have a sense of financial security than to become an expert in money management. Not smart. Last but not least is a lack of fluency. Because they do not have a deep comprehension of money, the SS put in a lot of effort to acquire it. They have no idea how to make it work in their favor, so they have no choice but to continue working hard for it. Now, before you leave, let me just say that those guys are idiots. This is how I felt for a good portion of my life, I was working in investment banking, enjoying life, and yet at the end of the day, I didn't have much to show for it. It's okay. Everyone starts from this point. The second letter, G, stands for general investor, and the following list outlines the desires that general investors have. People in this quadrant have begun to come to the realization that in order to achieve their ultimate goal of freedom, they will need to make investments. They don't want to be tied down to a job or a client or the inability to uproot their lives whenever they choose to do so. The Supplementary Reliance They pay her 1% to figure it all out, and they just leave it in her hands. If I were to ask them what they were invested in across the board, they wouldn't know, or if they did, they wouldn't know why that resonates with you. People in this group invest in things like the stock market with their financial advisor. They pay her 1% to figure it all out, and they just leave it in her hands. It's possible that the reason you're sitting here experiencing FOMO is because you feel like you have a profound need to be independent. You might find yourself persuaded to invest your money in a get-rich-quick scheme like day trading cryptocurrency strategies, investing in crowdfunding, or joining an angel list. The majority of people spend their entire lives seated in this position. This level is never completely free to play. The investors denoted by the letter C are the calculated type, in contrast to those denoted by the letter G, these investors allot their funds in a strategic manner. The first priority should be education. It's possible that you fall into this category if you've educated yourself on the ins and outs of investing, finance, money, taxes, and the various asset classes. You are fluent in the language of money, including its terminology and how to use it. You have a good nose for business, and you never trust the financial decisions of others without first conducting your own thorough research. The third quality, is that they are aware of their current financial situation, you are familiar with your network, you are aware of that number, and you track it. It appears that she will leave you if you are unable to explain where your money is located. The third is planning ahead. 
You have devised a plan for the management of your financial resources, which means you are aware of your desired destination, the steps you must take to get there, and the means by which you can reach your objective. And finally, we have a system. Therefore, you have a plan in place to ensure that the location that you are going to reach has the resources necessary for you to get there. Working on a continuous basis with the appropriate tax, financial advisory, and real estate professionals may be required in order to track this effectively using team software. Therefore, in this level, which is the first level in the game, the money will begin to do some of the work for you. The vast majority of people have not arrived yet. The name given to this very highest level is Master Allocator. This is the location that we want to be in. Allocators have the most knowledge and are the most financially educated out of all the Matrix investors. This is important if we want to be truly generationally free from a financial standpoint. Due to the fact that these are the truly wealthy, they also have the most extensive network. You are the manifestation of the characteristics. Please enlighten me as to whether or not this fits your area of expertise. The oceans, however, are equipped with education MS have expertise. You understand investments, taxation structures, and deal making, you have a niche, you are the person that people go to when they are thinking about investing in that space. The difference between education and expertise is the difference between a high schooler and a PhD holder. Access is the second issue. When you are an expert, you put your money where your mouth is and you share that with us and others who want to hear from you, and that gives you the final thing, which is leverage, so because of your expertise, you get unfair access into deals opportunities, research insights, and this means that you get returns that most people don't. Then we have trust all of this leads to trust, and when you are an expert, you put your money where your mouth is and you share that with us. M. S. Become allocators or syndicators because people give them money to invest on their behalf because they trust them, their expertise, and their access. This creates leverage, and then when their investments are successful, they make money from it. But even more so than usual because you don't have to spend just your own money and you get money from other people in addition to that. Now, when you are a master allocator, 99% of the work is done by anything else you do for the love effect, and you kind of think about money like an employee would think about their paycheck. It is time to increase people's awareness of what it actually means to build up their financial independence. You need to become an allocator if you want to figure out how to beat inflation at any given time, high levels of wage stagnation, and increased taxation. Now, listen to this, you probably know where you are, you probably have an inkling, and that's the first step because you can't figure out which staircase to climb if you don't know where you're standing. You can stop worrying about your job now that you've found the solution to your problem. 2. Who cares? and instead turn to the question of whether or not you understand enough about making money so that other people can start to treat you as an expert and allow you to stay, start to get unfair access, expertise, and allocations. Having said all of that, I really hope you enjoy this video. This one is a touch more strategic than the last. This video's purpose is to take you further along in your financial journey and get you moving in the right direction. It has to do with you. It is not about a single individual carrying out X, Y, and Z. It's about getting you from where you are right now to where you want to be in the future.